Here's a quick overview on how to use the corner pinner script. Uh, this script has a drop down menu with many different corner pin effects that you can use. Um, some of them are third party effects, so you'll have to purchase those and install them before using them, but a lot of them are built in effects. So, um, so let's go ahead and get started with the features. The first one is just a simple add corner pin utility. Uh, that's just there for convenience, so you can, uh, you know, if you use corner pins a lot, you can just do a simple add. Um, but uh, <clears throat> you can also convert corner pins. So you can convert any existing corner pin in After Effects to any of these corner pins. Um, so just, uh, just for example, we'll convert it, this uh, corner pin to a remap planer. And as you can see, with the regular corner pin, you don't have a whole lot of features. And uh, we just have the, um, the screen tracked on there. But if we wanted to stretch the edges or you know, scale it or, or rotate it a little bit, then we can, uh, we can go ahead and hit Convert. And as you can see, it, con it uh, converted it to Remap Planer with expressions. And so you can go in here and adjust the scale X scale, Y scale, however you want. Um, but uh, the good thing about that is that since it's linked through expressions, you can update the original corner pin and all the expressions will automatically update. So um, let's move on to matte. Uh, you can, you can uh, convert any corner pin to a matte layer and it just creates a shape layer above your main layer. And uh, you can, uh, you know, use those same controls to to affect the the mat layer. Um, if you ever wanted to use uh, an adjustment layer, or anything like that, or maybe isolate the edges by using a, a mask or or anything like that, you have the uh, the option to do that. So let's just go back to our regular corner pin, and I'll turn this to normal so we can see what the next feature does. Um, so basically you can uh, round the edges of any corner pin. As you can see it comes uh, on with a default rounding, um, but you can adjust the uh, the global roundness. It'll adjust all the, uh, the different sides. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, you have the option to adjust each side individually. Um, and uh, and as you can see, it kind of distorts the image, which, you know, if it's a, a rounded television or something like that, an old style television, um, you can, you know, you can get away with a little bit of warping. But if you just want round edges without warping, then uh, you can go back and select the initial corner pin and just create a, a mat and then create a rounded mat. Adjust the global roundness. And uh, and another cool feature is you can go into the mat, and <clears throat> inside of the shape layer, you can adjust the roundness of the corners. So as you can see, it's adjusting the uh, the roundness of the corners there. And then you can go back in and you know adjust the roundness of the uh, of the edges. So um, so that's another option. So once you once you do that, then you can go back to your uh, your main layer, make that an alpha mat, and then uh, you know we'll have to convert it to something like CC Power Pin, where we can uh, expand the edges so that it gets cut off by the uh, the rounded the rounded mat. Sometimes you get um, in Mocha or, or something like that, either by user error or some other um, problem, the corners get swapped around. So the uh, the you know the pre comp may be correct, but uh, the main comp is you know comes out like that. So you can just uh, use the rotate buttons to rotate it into correct position, or maybe you you have the pre comp where it's upright, but the uh, the thing you're tracking onto is is upside down. In this main comp, you can just use that to flip uh, flip the um, the screen around. And if you'd like to have a little bit.
cleaner um, interface when you're working with the round edges. Uh, you can uh, take these two pre uh, presets. Um, well, the roundest one if you speak English, and the rounder one if you speak uh, French. Um, and uh, put uh, put the preset in the script UI panels with the corner pinner script. And then when you run, um, so let's say let's convert it to a mat, and you run the round, it'll it'll warn you that it's missing, but it's not actually missing. And then uh, then it'll uh, apply it, and you'll see there's effect here so it's a little bit cleaner and then you can adjust the uh, the global roundness from there the side roundness you know and then uh, and then there's an added corner roundness just for mats so uh, so that'll adjust that part for you as well um, just to show you what else uh, is possible by converting it to a card wipe or a card dance you can put 3D light effects on it, even though it's a 2D layer and a 2D um, corner pen. <clears throat> so as you can see, while it's moving around, it reacts to the uh, the 3D light that's there. And uh, you know, if you don't if you don't like using the transition, you can just use the effect to get uh, some some highlighting and reflection effect on it. So that's uh, that's just a few of the options um, that you have, and just for fun, I threw in a four-color gradient. So uh, you know, if you convert it to that, then all the corners are are pinned, and the the four colors stay the same. You can also go in here and just turn off the, uh, the corner pin effect, and you just get the four colors moving around. So, anyways, there's uh, plenty to play around with. Hopefully, that helps you um, give you a little bit more flexibility in using corner pins. Thanks.